There's a new team in town. Future Hall of Famers. The Woo Sox, or Worcester Red Sox, have arrived in the heart of the Commonwealth. Looks bigger than Fenway's bullpen. In Worcester's Canal District, Polar Park opened in the spring of 2021, named after Worcester's own polar beverages. I'm really excited that we got to name it after our brand, Polar Park, because it's got a nice ring to it, wouldn't you say? In 2019, we spoke to an excited Larry Lucchino in an empty parking lot. I'm standing approximately where Home Plate will be when we open this ballpark in April of 2021. But what was once cracked concrete is now a new ballpark that will eventually hold close to 10,000 fans. This complex will include the ballpark, uh, about six acres of ballpark premises. And then across the street, we have 12 acres that we are developing with a mixed use developer, apartment buildings, a hotel, potential biotech space. And we're also hoping in left field here to have a commercial office building at some point in the next few years. So it's going to be a pretty substantial campus when all is said and done. Worcester Red Sox Executive Vice President Dan Ray tells us the park is built like a three layer cake. We are up on the suite level right now, which is the top layer of the cake. Below us is the concourse level. You'll see the nice open concourse we have. And then below that is the field level and the sort of ground level of the building. Polar Park was built into the side of a hill, which is actually an advantage for incoming fans. We have our right field wall, what is basically our equivalent of the monster. That is the top of a street, but then on the home plate side of the ballpark, there's also a street level entrance. So every level of the ballpark has a different street level entrance, even though it's a three layer cake. The open air park with wide concourses should be a safe place to gather this baseball season, says Worcester City Manager Ed Augustus. As we're starting to come out of the pandemic and the ballpark is starting to open, it really is coinciding perfectly when people are looking for something to be excited about and optimistic about and places that they might be able to reconnect uh, and share experiences and enjoy something new and exciting. Minor League Baseball has historically been known as a very family friendly product and so I think you look at the ballpark in front of us, we have areas that kids can enjoy, we have areas that adults can enjoy. Talk a little bit about Worcester, the community itself and how it has embraced the arrival of Polar Park. The community support has been overwhelming, both Worcester and of Central Massachusetts, but a various roster of other corporate partners and community partners who have stepped up and said, we want to support this, we want to be part of it. And uh, when you have that sort of welcome, it's very easy uh, to get your sea legs under you and get going here. The park plans to sell concessions from local businesses, including the famed Coney Island hot dogs and table talk pies. It'd be nice that we're going to have a presence in there, our history, with such uh, close neighbors. And new neighbors hope the ballpark will be a home run for their businesses. The Woo Sox are going to drive people to the stadium, but people coming in from different parts of New England are going to say, well, you know, this is an affordable baseball game I can go to, but I want to make a day out of it. What else is going on around here? You can't miss this place. There's such an attraction with that ballpark, with new businesses. It's very diverse. There's not one week where we don't see anything new or anything progressing. Progress of which the Worcester Red Sox are excited to be a part. You look out, the city skyline shows you, you know, new apartment buildings, and new hotels, and new activity. And we're part of that progression, I think. We're not starting it ourselves. We're actually joining in a wave. And I think that's really exciting for us to be part of something that's bigger and better than just the Red Sox. It's all very exciting, and Polar Park was a hot place to be last summer. It was, you know, despite capacity restrictions mm -hmm. due to COVID, they finished sixth in attendance overall out of all 120 <laughs> minor league teams. So that's pretty impressive. They were number one in turnstile, which is the people who actually show up with their ticket and go through the gate. So that's impressive. More renovations, more improvements coming this year for their second season in the park. I love it. Love it. Mm -hmm.